This video is related to the wipe uh, adaptive background uh, application. Firstly, I need to show the something else on the frames. For example, that's the original frame, that's the wipe background model abstraction. So you can see and the, you can uh, directly the eliminate the static backgrounds and the, you can overlay the normal back, uh, foregrounds applications directly. The main problem may be the um, same coloring model. You can you cannot see the um, full object very well, but you can implement the, some edge detection and the manipulation to improve that. But the algorithm to foreground and background abstraction is working very well. Then maybe I can show you something else about the co the code behavior. Firstly, that's the uh, it's a library. It's a custom uh, library. You can see in here. I, I will add that link to you about that video. Firstly, you need to add the wipe CPP and the wipe HPP. Then uh, you need to implement in here. So. Uh, you can see I just um, directly show the path of the, that background wipe HPP. Then, um, firstly, you need to create a class about the, that is the first issue. Then, um, after you're reading a frame, for example, you need to init it because wipe backgrounding is working with the the base frame after the base frame it's adaptively uh, adding the background and foreground but you need to init one of them then um, you need to get the foreground like this for example just using this function as a foreground is a source source is the um, just the capturing it's not necessary to capture all, all of that but just I, I try it and then every frame I pushing the foreground then getting the this you need to get this is a pointer because it's not to create fully the returning the mat uh, object just the uh, pointer of that then you can show it just that you can see Adaptively and probability uh, functions can work in together. Okay.